Let's get to the final trade of the day. Alan Nachman of Agora Financial is standing by for his weekly options alert. Hello to you, Alan. Hi, Angie. As you can see, I'm back in the city. I can hear the traders back at the CBOE and the markets are on the move. Tuesday turnaround shook up most of that profit taking pullback that we saw on Monday. Alan, how are your trades coming along? Please bring us up to date on your WPI trade tracker. Yes, option expiration here is this Friday. We get the July options going off the board. Now, what we do is we trade these in the money options. So that's the trick. They hold their value. They have a small component of time value that decays. Uh, we've got the HPQ position and the Rambus that are very close to break even. We'll see what happens in the next couple of days. Then we also got the Intel and the British Petroleum where we took 50% uh, gains on half of those plays. We'll see if we can squeeze out a little more. Other positions that we're holding right now, August, we've got Oxy waiting for oil to make another surge above 40 and then like we talked about we sell into strength the Oracle and the AMD positions were, were uh, looking for shooting for a hundred percent on the second half there with about one month of time also have the September Cisco play with two months plus your WPI trade trigger this week is back in the chip sector the new trade trigger, more Micron. Micron's 20% off its February highs. Now this is a stock that's been stuck almost exactly like AMD that worked out very profitably last week. Uh, this one's stuck between 40 and 60 for the last year with a 50 pivot. So we're right around that level right now. Look at the August 45 call, has a month plus. Now this stock had been a big mover at one time. It's up 150% in the last five years. And the smart money sees something. Like I said, it's almost the exact same pattern that we saw in AMD that had a quick breakout to the upside. We're seeing a series here of lower highs and higher lows forming that big wedge. Let's look for a breakout as well. Alan, we'd love to know what's going on in your mind. Give us those trading day takeaways. The trading takeaways. Number one, the season starts. Earnings season is here and it started with JP Morgan making $5 billion for the quarter. Obviously, not good times for anyone, but they made $7 billion trading the trend. So their trading uh, side made $7 billion following the money, just like we do here. Number two, we're gonna see losses. Losses are not for losers. Everybody's gonna have losses this quarter. Wells Fargo was a good example of that yesterday. Uh, we saw that have first quarter of the loss since 2008. Now stocks have a low bar to hurdle. Everybody's expecting uh, bad numbers from the epic drop that we saw in February. So let's see if we can overachieve. And number three, keep going QQQ. The NASDAQ NDX 100, the top 100 stocks, the NDX, hit 11,000 on Monday. Had a little bit of a turn after that, but 11,000, that's quite a run. We saw new, newer, newest all-time highs, and uh, we've got the tech sector up 25% plus in 2020. Thanks as always, Alan. Always nice to have you on the show. Thank you.